Hi, I'm Glenn. I hope you're having a good day. I'm here to do a tutorial for Emily, whenever I may find her, uh, written by Paul Simon. There are other tutorials on this song on YouTube. I'm certainly not the first person to do it. Uh, I was asked by uh, one of my YouTube friends, Luis from Brazil, if I would do, do a tutorial, a lesson, on how to play this song. So uh, I'm gonna give it a try. Hope I can do people a little bit of good. This, these are just my opinions on how to play the song. There are no uh, guitar police out there, so we can kind of have a lot of different opinions here about how things are done. So I hope my approach might be helpful to some. Uh, there's a couple things I think that you need, uh, at least I feel, that are really helpful for playing for Emily. One of, one of them is a 12 string. Uh, you don't need the world's best 12 string. This is a pretty good 12 string, the Guild F512 that I'm holding in my hands. Uh, but you can buy less expensive 12 strings from Breedlove, from Guild Gad out of China. Um, uh, Seagull makes some very cost-effective 12 strings that work well. Uh, so there's a lot of choices, um, and you don't have to spend a fortune. Uh, in fact, a lot of people think you shouldn't spend a huge amount of money on a 12 string, even though this one was fairly expensive, but I'm a 12 string nut. Uh, anyway, to get onto the song, the other thing you need besides the 12 string, and I think you need the 12 string for these octave strings to get the chime that Paul Simon got in his recording, this sort of dreamlike sound. Uh, the other thing is you need a handle on the Travis pick. If you don't have a handle, hopefully you can learn. I do a tutorial uh, on my YouTube channel for The Highwaymen where I dis uh, discuss the Travis pick in that song. And I spent a lot of time talking about playing the Travis pick with the A suspended second chord, or the A sus2. And the A sus2 shows up in this song also. So uh, if you don't know how to play the Travis pick, going to that Highwayman tutorial might help you. So I'm going to go right, oh, I'm on capo 4 in standard tuning. You can tune and probably should tune the guitar with the capo on. Uh, it, it, it takes a little more effort, but uh, it, when you put a capo on a 12 string, it often throws it out of tune a little bit. So retuning with the capo on in the right, in the place that you're going to play the song can really help. So with modern headstock tuners, you can tune a 12 string fairly quickly without spending all day at it and get it fairly accurately. And that's what I did for this, for this song. I tuned it up once I put the capo on. So the uh, opening uh, intro for this song is, a, is played in D, a D suspended second, D sus2. And to talk about this Travis pick, the Travis pick basically uses the thumb or thumb pick to play the main beats of a 4-4 measure. One, two, three, four. So in holding a G chord, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And the fingers are playing the and parts of the one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. One and two, three, now, I'm playing it straight. Uh, the truth is, a well-played Travis pick has a syncopated sound like this. And that's just the only way to teach that is for you to, you know, do the alternating between thumb and fingers and get used to it until you sort of get the feel for, for it. That, that playing that G chord with the added uh, D note, or the, what people call a G5, that's the way Paul Stuckey played the, the wedding song. He is now to be among you at the calling of your hearts, if you remember. Okay, so back to Emily. The intro is like this, a D suspended second. What I'm doing, I'm alternating between my thumb and my middle finger. First, I start with the D string, the fourth string, and then hit the high E string. Then, the G, then I use the thumb to hit the G string, which is playing an A note. 
and then again hit the high E string. So I alternate. Okay, that takes practice, but it's not too difficult once you know if once you understand what's being done. But when you're playing it at speed, it sounds more like this, and especially when you get the syncopation in there. And to play that part, you just lift your fingers off and just play the open strings. Back to the D sus2 and back to those open strings. Okay, here we go. What a dream I had, G, pressed in organ D. Now I'm going G to an F sharp note on the E string, then to an E minor. Back to the D sus2, clothed in crinoline. This is a C major 7. In smoky burgundy, now to a G. Softer than the rain, A sus two, A suspended second. And with the Travis pick, it sounds kind of cool, doesn't it? Second verse. I wandered empty streets down. Now I'm adding, you know, a D sus four and a full, you know, a F sharp on the D string. I wandered empty streets down. G to F sharp to E minor. Down past the sharp displays. I heard cathedral bells, C major 7, tripping down the alleyways. G. As I walked on, A sus 2, third verse. And when you ran to me, your cheeks washed with the night. We walked on frosted fields. Juniper and lamp light. I held your hand. A sus two. Now you go into the solo. And you know something I should have mentioned when I started. I'm on capo four. Paul Simon actually played this on capo five, I believe. Art Garfunkel sang the solo. He's got a little higher voice than me. And the the cool thing about a capo is you can move it around where you like. So I, I was a little more comfortable on capo four. So. Now that I move into this uh, little guitar solo part, we're back to the D chord, but this time for the, you know, we're, 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 we, we ended up, I held your hand, so we're on A suspended second. Now we go into the solo. So this is a D with an added A note on the high E string. Using the E string to play all these notes that make the solo, the uh, the A, so that's an F sharp, but it's part of the D chord. Then you add the, the G, G to F sharp to E, back to F sharp. except that you're hitting the whole chord as you play those uh, notes on the E string. So it's... These are the same G and the F sharp and the E minor. Back to the D. Now here you go to the D, you know, the full D, with including the F sharp note on the E string. And then you lift it up to make that D sus2. So basically you're going F, F sharp to E to F sharp. Now you go to the C major 7. But when you play the C major 7, and I, I play it now with these first two fingers, so I've got room to stretch my little finger here. Wait a minute, am I doing that right? Yeah, I am. The, the way you play that chord, so I'm going. Mm -hmm. 
It's a C major seventh with an added B note, which is played on the G string fourth fret. And so you, you, you kind of go downhill from the B note to the A note, which is the, the G string second fret. Now G string open. Now D string fourth fret, with it, which is oopsie, which is an F sharp note. Now the D string second fret, which is a uh, E note. Now to the uh, open D, so it's okay. Now the G, A sus two. Now you're kind of waking up from the dream, okay? Or at least Paul Simon is. Here we go. And when I woke and felt you warm and near, I kissed your honey hair, C major seven, with my grateful tears. G, oh, I love you, girl. Okay, now you're going into the ending, which takes you to to a C chord, and then to a G chord, and then to a D. So, I kissed you, well, let's see, here, let's try that last verse again so I can do it in sequence. And when I woke and felt you warm in here, I kissed your honey hair with my grateful tears. G. Oh, I love you, girl. A sus two, C. Oh, I, that's a G. Love you. Now, so what am I doing? You're ending on a D chord, but he's adding on the A string this B note. So it's a D with an added A. No, a D with an added B, excuse me. And that is just a weird sound, but it, it also sounds kind of cool. And that's how he ends it. Oh, I love you. Like that, okay? So hopefully that gives you uh, a little bit more background on the song and hopefully I've done you some good. Uh, any questions, send me a comment on YouTube. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.